Hey guys, it's the How To Guy One Two Three here, and today I'll be showing you guys how to make Windows 8.1 look like Windows XP. So as you can see here, um, this is what it's gonna look like when we're done with the tutorial. It looks uh, almost exactly like it did back in Windows XP. We have the uh, Windows XP Luna theme here uh, with the uh, blue Windows XP taskbar, and uh, if we go over here, we also have the Windows XP. Uh, start menu and it looks almost exactly like it did back in Windows XP um, some things we don't get unfortunately is um, the icons here are the Windows 8 icons and if we go ahead and open a window here um, we don't have the Windows XP borders here um, it's still pretty close though and the, uh, the buttons um, over here are a bit more 3D I would say um, but those aren't too big of a deal and uh, a couple things we do get though is the uh, the uh, scroll scroll uh, bar here and uh, a couple of the um, buttons the uh, button designs are like they were in Windows XP which is uh, pretty good uh, so let's just go ahead and get on with the tutorial alright guys so to start off we're just gonna want to go to our internet browser and once here go into the description of this video and there should be a link for this site here um, once you're at this site go down here to Windows 8 or 8.1 and um, once here click download ultra UX theme patcher uh, that should take you to this site here just scroll down and click download um, it should only take a second to download uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and drag it to my desktop and uh, put it on the other monitor there we go so now we're just gonna want to go ahead and run this click yes and um, we're just gonna want to go through the setup process so click next I accept next I agree and uh, let this do its thing click next and uh, now we're just going to want to restart our computer so I'm just gonna go ahead and do that and uh, I'll be right back alright so now that uh, we have restarted our computer let's just go back into our internet browser and go back to the Windows XP for life uh, site and uh, now we're going to download the Windows XP Luna theme so um, there are different types of uh, Luna themes you can download uh, you can download the default Windows XP theme the uh, olive green theme the uh, silver theme um, and there's a whole bunch of other ones you can download um, for this I'm just going to download the um, default Windows XP Luna theme so just click download right here and it should start to download uh, will only take a second and I'm just going to um, drag this to my desktop and uh, drag it to the other monitor and uh, now we're just going to want to extract it now you can use a, a program like Windows or WinRAR uh, 7-zip or BandyZip which is uh, a free program which I use um, so just right click it and then extract to the Luna Windows 8.1 theme and there we go now we should have this folder uh, on our desktop we're just going to click it and you should see uh, two files we're just going to want to go into our um, my computer our C drive Windows and then go down and find uh, resources here themes and we're just going to want to copy these two files and we're going to want to paste them into our uh, themes folder here and click paste uh, then do this for all current items have that checked and then click continue and there we go so now we can exit out of this and this and just right click on your desktop and click personalize uh, that should bring you with this window here and just click on uh, Luna V2 down here now that should uh, give you the Windows XP Luna theme here 
and um, that's pretty much it for the Luna theme. Now um, we're just going to download the um, start uh, start menu here. Um, if you want, you can even go ahead and uh, delete these. Um, we don't need them anymore. So go back into your internet browser and go to the second link in the description for Classic Shell and just click download. Uh, this should only take a second as well, or a couple of seconds. And uh, just go ahead and open it. I'm just going to minimize my internet browser here. Uh, just go through the setup process here. Just click next. Uh, I accept the terms next, uh, next, and install. Uh, this shouldn't take too long either. Just click yes here. And um, uncheck to view readme and finish. Uh, now you can see uh, we have the start menu here. Um, just going to want to click it. Uh, since I've already installed this before, um, it saved all of my um, settings. Um, but I'm just going to go into the settings for this. Um, the settings should look like this. If you first um, install this, it if you click it for the first time, this should open. Um, but if not, just go and do what I did to get this again. And um, so in the first menu here, the start menu style, click classic with two columns. And then uh, check replace start menu. And then choose custom. Now go back into the Windows XP for Life site. And you're going to want to scroll down and find these start menu, uh, start, menu start buttons. Um, and you're going to want to right click the one you want. Or right click and save the uh, start menu, or start button you want um, these are the uh, default ones so I'm just going to use those uh, just right click save image as and save it wherever you want I'll just choose my desktop and then click save and uh, then go back into the classic um, classic shell menu and then pick image and then select the image from your desktop and then click uh, not yet. Then go into basic settings or uh, skin, and then choose Windows XP Luna, and then choose blue, and uh, have these checked. And you can like mess around with the settings here if you want. Um, I think that's pretty much it for this. So click OK, and then now um, go into or just right click on the taskbar here, and click properties. Uh, this window should pop out, and then um, you're going to want to uh, where it says taskbar buttons, uh, select never combine. And um, if you have a second monitor like me, do the same thing down here, never combined, and uh, have that checked. And also um, use small taskbar buttons, have that selected, and hit apply, and OK. And uh, there we go. So there we go. Now we have Windows uh, 8.1 looking like Windows XP. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and uh, I'll see you guys later.